Hi, uh, thanks for getting help from MoseNotes.com. This algebra video is going to talk about solving linear equations that have one variable. So, the easiest way to teach this is just to go through examples. x plus 3 equals 6. First thing you got to understand is what this is asking you to do. It's asking you to find what value of x makes this equation true. So to do that, you want to see the end result say x equals some number. So let's get rid of this 3 from this side. Okay, well now it's not an equation anymore because you have to do the same thing to both sides. So we're going to also subtract 3 from that side. Okay, find out what that equals. x is not going to be affected as we wanted, 3 minus 3 is going to be 0, so x is going to equal 6 minus 3, or 3. x equals 3. And to check that we have that right, let's plug in 3 for x, because they're the same thing. If we did our work correctly, x represents 3. 3 plus 3 equals 6. Yes, we have done our work correctly. Another type of equation would be one with multiplication in it, 3x equals 6. Okay, here, you can also divide both sides by the same number. It will still be an equation, the same equation. So let's do that. Divide both sides by 3. 3 divided by 3 is going to be 1. What's 1 times x? Well, it's just x. So that means the only thing that matters here is the x. Because 3 divided by 3 is just 1. 6 divided by 3, that's important. That's going to be 2, and that's going to be our answer. x equals 2. And again, we can check that out. Plug in 2. 3 times 2 equals 6. That's a true statement. We did our work correctly. Okay. Here's a more complicated one. When you get something like this, Start with the addition and subtraction, that's the easiest way to do it. Otherwise, you'll have to divide the whole thing by 2 if it get complicated. So, minus 4, minus 4, 2x unaffected. 4 minus 4 is 0, 6 minus 4 is 2. 2x equals 2, well, that doesn't help too much. You gotta divide both sides by 2 to get rid of this. So, x is all that matters here. It needs to cancel each other out. 2 divided by 2 is 1. x equals 1. Check it one more time. And you should check it every time until you get the hang of this. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 plus 4 is 6. Okay, one more thing about uh, solving linear equations. Something that's going to be helpful throughout algebra and calculus is the distributive property. And the reason that's helpful is you can't do anything with this as is. You can't subtract 2 because of this 3. You, you could divide by 3, but that would mess up what's in here. So what you're going to do instead is just multiply this out. In other words, Multiply 3 times x, and then multiply 3 times 2. 3x plus 6. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times plus 2 is plus 6. And if you plug in any number here, you will find out that this property does work. Plug in 0, you're going to get 6. Plug in 1, you're going to get 9. Plug in 2, and get 12, and staying down here is 0, 6, 3 plus 3 times 1 plus 6 is 9, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 6 is 12. So, x is going to represent both numbers in this, and that's going to be helpful, because this is much easier to deal with. 